Good morning. Today we're working on applying some uh, waterproof membrane to one section of the foundation wall that's been all prepared for that. This is um, this stuff's called blue skin, and it's got a waterproof um, layer on this side, and on this side it's got a, uh, a sticky bit. Let me find a small piece here. Show you that. So this this paper peels off, so it's a self-adhering product. There we go, there's a good example of that. So, you peel off the paper, this stuff is super sticky on this side, and you put a, uh, a primer on the wall first, and that um, seals up the wall a little bit. This, this old um, cinder block absorbs a lot, so I've put on multiple coats. And that the primer dries to a tacky, um, stickiness, slightly sticky. So that combined with the adhesive on the blue skin gets you a pretty well adhered product. And this stuff's really easy to work with. It's um, it's not super heavy. It's 60 mil, and you just cut it with a razor blade knife. And it's even got some nice. Uh, markers on here so you don't even have to measure most cases and what you want to do is cut a bunch of pieces for the various um, areas you're going to be covering there's outside corners and inside corners and you want to do those separately and you also separately seal the, um, the seam between the foundation wall and the footing with an extra piece and then cover the whole thing with a big piece that covers the whole area that's going to be underground. And you put this on vertically. I've tried putting it on horizontally so you have fewer seams, but that's not what they recommend. And you can tell why if you try it. It's kind of hard to work with if you, unless you do it in small pieces. And it's got a strip of adhesive on both edges so as you put it on in in uh, sections they all you overlap them and they all adhere to each other so you get a good seal so I'll show you what where we are with this doing this section first and got it pretty well primed I put on two coats and it absorbed all of that almost immediately so I uh, let that dry for about half an hour and put on a third coat and that's just about dry and it just goes on with a roller I just use a big bucket dump a gallon in that don't have to be real neat about it dunk it dunk in the roller and spread it on pretty heavy. For an old wall like this, it absorbs a lot, so you put, just put it on really heavy. And let that dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. The final coat, about 30 minutes to an hour, and it'll dry kind of tacky. And um, then you can put start putting on the membrane. So we'll get started on that next.